All right, so we're looking at WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 here on the PlayStation 3. Uh, right now you're looking at our new THQ training facility. This is a uh, new feature in the game that lets you practice the moves and the controls of the game. As you see, as I walk to different areas of the game, different props come up that help me explain the controls of the game. As I walk up here, there's a different prop that pops up that helps me execute the move. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. A little checkbox appears there and it shows me that I executed it. So basically, this is a new way for um, new users to uh, get acclimated to the game, to feel more comfortable with the controls. Um, it's also a great way for more experienced users to go ahead and um, find out the new controls for this year as well as practice some more of the advanced controls that you know they might not be so familiar with. Um, so you see here uh, the opponent right here, Randy Orton, is just kind of a dummy right now. He's just standing there, no AI, and I can sit here and practice all my different moves and perfect the controls of the game. So this is a brand new addition to uh, SmackDown's Raw 2010. Um, something new for uh, the users to get more acclimated to the game. But really, the new additions in the game really come in the content creation. I'm going to go ahead and jump into our new Create a Superstar mode that's been completely overhauled. Uh, we focus a lot of time on improving the quality of the Create a Superstar, um, introducing all new 3D parts, over 1,000 parts in the game. Um, and also, we wanted to make sure that the quality of these great Kratos superstars match the quality of the WWE characters that are in the game. We want them to be in the ring at the same time and they look the same quality. So I'm going to go in here and show you some of the cool things that you can create. Um, of course, we have uh, tons of different options to create anything from fantasy-based characters, divas. If you want to create, uh, this looks like something like Wolverine from X-Men right here. If you want to go ahead and create some of these fantasy-based comic book heroes, we have a lot of cool parts in the game for you to create whatever you could possibly dream up. I'm going to go ahead here and try to find maybe a classic wrestling mullet here. Let's show from the side here. That looks nice. Go ahead and add that. Let's make it an uh, orange mullet. What beats an orange mullet? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start adding um, different elements to his body here. I can change his height. Um, I can go ahead and make him a big seven-footer or I can shrink him down to uh, almost midget status here. Let's make him a small guy. And then let's go ahead and add some body hair to him. Let's make him a hairy guy here. This just shows a layer of um, customization we have in this mode. We want you to be able to create anything that your imagination can dream up. Um, yellow chest hair looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and add that. Yeah, he likes it, he's showing it off. Uh, but let's go ahead and start adding parts here. Let's see what kind of headwear we have in the game. I'm going to go ahead and add a hat for him. Let's see here. We have the chicken head. That's a nice piece. Uh, basically, we have fantasy parts, um, realistic parts. Really, we want to make sure you can create anything and everything in this mode. Um, let's go ahead and give him a little Sergeant Slaughter hat. I think he likes that. You definitely need some sunglasses here. So as you see, these parts are high quality parts. They're all new. Users who buy this game will see new parts they haven't seen in past games. Uh, let's go ahead and add a new pair of sunglasses there. Let's make them black. That looks nice. Also a new addition here is we let you select your versus screen pose. Um, in the past you just had a generic pose. Now you can determine what your look will look like throughout the entire game in the menus. A nice little addition to further add personality to your character. Let's see what I like here. We have 18 different poses to choose from. I like that one. Let's go ahead and use that. So that's some of the improvements we've done in the Create a Superstar. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into a brand new creation option that we've added this year. And it's called the Paint Tool. The Paint Tool allows you to create your own logos, your own tattoos, using a new Paint Tool uh, mechanic that we have in the game. And I'm going to show it off. It's very easy to use. This is an extension of the Creative Superstar. Basically, you go into the Creative Superstar menu and you see this new option here, Paint Tool. You pop in here and you'll have all the tools you traditionally see in a paint tool. Um, a pen, an eraser, a paint fill. Um, all those tools that allow you to create custom logos into the game. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one here. Select my canvas size. And I can go ahead and just go ahead and start drawing whatever I want to draw. Um, and as you see here down at the lower left hand side, you see what it will really look like um, on the character. 
And I'm not much of an artist here, but I'm gonna try to do some basic stuff in here just to show you some of the cool options you have. This will allow users to create um, you know, their own uh, tattoos that maybe they have on their own body that they've seen on some of their favorite characters, logos that they've seen in comic book heroes. Um, they allow you to create whatever you want. Um, these are some different uh, pen sizes that you can use. You've traditionally seen it in a paint tool. Let's go ahead and uh, back out of here and show you a logo that we've already created to show you how detailed you can get with these logos. As you can see here, we created this custom logo. It shows you the amount of detail you're going to be able to create in these tattoos of these logos. So this is a brand new addition, another way to further customize your creative characters, and something that the fans have been asking for for quite a, a long time. <laughs>